I was born in London to South Indian parents. They're from Kerala, both of them. And um, very musically aware um, uh, family. And um, I grew up, I mean, I, I remember as a toddler listening to Carnatic music and classical um, Pilila and Yesudas and Mesubalakshmi and all of that. And um, I, was, uh, I was singing along to what I was hearing from a very young age. So it, to me, it feels like I brought it over from some other lifetime or something, you know. So, um, but in England at that time, there wasn't a, a great deal happening in terms of visiting artists or, you know, resources to learn and things. But um, I, went, I came to India. My parents brought me to India when I was six years old. And I stayed here for a few years and I, I had some foundation in Carnatic training uh, but then I went back to England um, at, at, as a 12 year old 13 year old and then I did Western music because again there was nothing there was nothing happening Indian music wise at the time so um, my training has been a bit on and off uh, you know sort of different styles um, but different influences which I think have contributed to making me who I am today you know I uh, was hugely into pop music when I was a, a youngster, uh, but then I studied Beethoven and Mozart when I was doing my O-levels and A-levels and things. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad that that happened. You know, some people might see it as an, a disadvantage that, you know, it, it, it's all a bit of a, 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 you know, sort of patchwork quilt, but I think it served me well. <laughs> the latest sort of style to grab me or that I add it to my sort of repertoire if I like, if you like, um, is the Punjabi, the, 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 the folk music of Punjab, the religious music of Punjab, you know, so I learned Punjabi, I speak Punjabi and I, I, I sing in Punjabi and um, I was quite, I'm quite taken by the Sufi style, especially Punjabi Sufi, so that is now, is starting to become my forte. Um, uh, but all the influences of the past are all, all there, so it just amalgamates into a nice. You know what? I don't actually think about. I don't think. I don't give much thought to who I'm reaching out to. I think I'm currently focused on expressing myself. So I, I am deeply spiritual. I'm on the spiritual path. Uh, I'm hugely inspired by some of the Sufi poetry um, and with the music that's in me and that, that has influenced me over time I just try and bring all of that together and um, I work, um, I work um, as a vocalist in a band called Kafaya back in London and we're a collective and we, uh, we're a band with a huge number of different influences Latin, jazz, uh, blues, you name it so I'm the Indian element in that band. And um, the number of times, you, you know, I've performed at Walmart, a, a, a festival, for instance, where people necess weren't necessarily expecting to hear like a, a rag alap, you know, from a band like Kafaya. And then they come afterwards and they say, what was that you sang? You know, it even happened like just before I came to India. What was that you sang? It just, you know, it was just so heart expanding. I think that's what my, that's what my aim is, that's what, that's what I'm about, heart expansion. I try to teach, there's a lot of demand for teaching, especially when I come off, off the stage after a performance, there are parents with children, or, uh, but I think there's been a lot of, um, they're, they're, I'm not finding enough time to do it because I'm traveling, I'm traveling the world quite a bit now, uh, performing, so when the time is right, I would like to spend time teaching. But having said that, I worked with a British um, choir recently, adults, and I, I taught the entire choir um, a couple of rags, and we performed at the Union Chapel in London. So teaching, you know, I'm teaching anyway, even if it's not formal sort of one-to-one -one or anything, you know, it's still happening. A lot of teaching is still happening. Yes, very much so, and I'm not the sole contributor to that kind of trend. You know, you have the, the, the Chill Out series, the Buddha Bar, the Cafe Del Mar, all of these kind of the lounge music and other compilations, for instance. Um, world music, you know, Peter Gabriel and people like that, 
did huge amounts for um, pushing other, you know, ethnic sort of sounds into mainstream music, or maybe, you know, it just became more palatable for, you know, the average listener. So I'm doing my bit as well, I guess, but um, I'm lucky in that I'm now producing music at a time where it is more recognized and it's, you know, accepted, so. I, I've come to do what I feel I do best right now, which is the Punjabi poetry and the Sufi, Sufi music. I, 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 think, I think Sufi poetry is just enormously inspiring and um, very deep and profound, but at the same time, equally so, so simple, you know, um, and if, if expressed in the right, through the right medium, you know, um, it is very accessible, you know, um, and although I'm singing traditional rags and, you know, singing in the traditional folk styles, my band, the boys I've brought with me, my, my fellow musicians, uh, they bring an element of westernization, if you like, but it's a real smooth, uh, you know, fusion in the true sense of the word. So I have a very competent, very skilled piano player by the name of Al McSween, uh, an equally talented guitar player by the name of Graham Garside, um, an insanely talented drummer by the name of Joost uh, Henriks, and um, a bass player, Dom uh, Sarangi, I have a traditional Sarangi as well, by Surjit Singh, and um, Tabla and Dolak by Amardeep, uh, Amardeep Singh. So. Yeah, we're all Londoners, though, all of us, yeah. And then I have Mira Kaur, who's um, a very good, very uh, beautiful, upcoming young vocalist. So we are two generations. First of all, I always wanted to, um, I wanted an opportunity uh, for a British Indian musician to be, to be counted, you know. Um, I think it's, it's, it's astonishing that you know, Apu Chudamani of Turnkey Music managed to make this happen for us to come and perform here. Um, so what do I... I would like for people to experience um, a presentation of traditional Sufi material but with a... with a... with a slightly different flavour to it. And I would like people to know that musicians like us exist and that we are doing something very relevant, very pertinent, very, very contemporary. The, the world is shrinking now, isn't it? We're, you know, um, this is all, I mean, I think it's all very relevant because what I'm singing is, it's, is rooted here. Um, and to, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel, but you know, um, I'm bringing I'm bringing the same thing, but with a different feel to it. And I, I would like I would like India to experience it. I'm not saying that it's hugely different from you know other experimental work that's being done, but. It comes with a deep and iris, your brand, you know, sort of.